Did you see the Reddit blackout stream? 98 or 9,800 viewers. Uh, I saw it earlier today. I think they had like 600 something subreddits going off, going private. So can someone break that down a little bit more for me? I haven't watched Mudahar's videos on it yet. I know it's about their API though. So they're charging like an astronomical fee for their API, which will stop all thirty, which will stop all third-party apps from working. Gotcha. Okay. On the podcast, we briefly went over it, but not in depth enough for me to fully understand the magnitude of it. So when I saw all the subreddits going private, I was wondering like if it was all about the API or if there was more to it. Okay then. Yeah, I mean, fuck them. That's some greedy shit. From from Reddit, charging that much for the API it was like fucking twenty million dollars or something crazy. He's a resub weedle. Probably not mellow. I don't think so, but maybe. Watch the Linus stream for more elaboration on the API. I mean, I'm also I could also just watch Mudahar's videos. He's done like a a few of them now about the Reddit situation. It would be very interesting to see Reddit crumble, not even because I like hate Reddit or anything like that, but it's just this would probably be the most popular website failure I've ever seen. Prior to this, it probably would have been MySpace, but Reddit is like an actual top ten visited website, so that would be crazy if it's actually the death of Reddit. Tumblr, oh, Tumblr's another good example. I forgot about Tumblr, which only goes to show how brutally it died. I forgot all about Tumblr. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. Vine got shut down, that's different. How would it die because of the subreddit protests for 48 hours? As I understand, it wasn't just like a 48-hour protest, right? Isn't it like supposed to be they go private and then it's a mass exodus of the Redditors? Or am I misunderstanding what the whole purpose is? Because a 48-hour private on subreddits isn't going to do shit. It's not going to force their hand. I thought it was like in conjunction to just leaving. Exerisa bomb. Rosh and the bits say what? Forty-eight isn't guaranteed. Somewhere indefinite. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, it'd have to be. What power do Reddit mods realistically have? It's just a protest. Hey, man, I, I'm all for making fun of, like, Redditors and mods and all of that shit. It's become, a, a like, a, a silly meme. But in this case, they have a ton of power here. What What is it? Like, shit, it's an alarmingly high number. But the vast majority of the most popular subreddits are controlled by the top 1% of Redditors, like Reddit mods. They call them power mods or something. So if all of them just shut their communities down, that's a massive hit to Reddit. I'm going to look it up. I think it's something like a handful of mods control like 90% of all of the subreddits. It's, it's super high. How five mods control most of the top 500 subreddits. Yep. Five mods control... And this was... That was two years ago. So it's probably... They probably control even more by now. They also power trip a lot. Yeah, that's a given. That is a given... With great moderation comes great sense of power. Reddit failing would benefit humanity. Disagree. Reddit is actually remarkably helpful in certain cases. I've used Reddit a lot when it comes to getting like assistance with things or learning about things that are helpful. Twitter would actually be the one that's genuinely beneficial to humanity. Twitter or Facebook, if it's one or the other. Reddit has legitimate use. Things the resub shin. 
Reddit only created better derivative websites. Don't exactly know what you mean by that, but I'm just talking about actually helpful subreddits and communities that are dedicated to just providing useful information for certain subjects. Not all of Reddit's accessible. <laughs> if Reddit dies, where will I get my legal advice? From Twitter, like the rest of us sane people. Twitter gives the best advice. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm about to get heated. I read something today. I, I don't I don't know who shared it, but it was on my timeline. There was a child whose lemonade stand got robbed, and a lot of people were quoting it, talking about why the child deserved it for taking part in a toxic capitalist society, and that the kid is like a future racist or some shit because of the way he dressed. It was sickening. It like it wasn't. It didn't even feel like it was supposed to be ironic or satire. It was just fucking weird. And I kept calling the kids slurs too in some of them. It was horrifying. And it was popular too. It was it was sickening. That shit was crazy. I'm sure some of it had to be ironic, but definitely not all of it. Unless it's really like unless I'm getting too old now to recognize modern shit post satire, but they were going hard. They do like nine tweet thread on why the kid deserved it. And then out of curiosity, I checked their Twitter account and it's literally only dedicated to politics. So it didn't feel like it was satire. It's, it was crazy. Thanks for the resub, Zach's.